Oh my God. Little guy, he's not moving anymore. Whoa, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I gotta call 911. Hold on, little guy. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, officer. I was walking by this vehicle and I saw a dog that is locked inside of this hot car. It's a hundred degrees outside today. If someone doesn't get him out soon, he's gonna die. Ma'am, remain calm. Just tell me the address and I will send an officer. Um. It's 243 Barry Lane. Okay, an officer will be there in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That, that, no, if someone doesn't get him out now, he's gonna die. Oh, Hold on, little guy, I'm gonna get you out. Hold on, little guy. Oh, it. No dog is gonna die on my watch. Hold on, little guy. Oh, God. Hey, babe. Hey. Have you been in the couch all day? Maybe. Lauren, I thought you said you were going to look for a job today. <sighs> Looking for jobs is so boring. You can't just hang around the house in your pajamas all day. Baby, you know I'm not the kind of woman that works. Besides, why do I need a job if I'm gonna have a rich husband like you? Baby, I am not gonna marry you for you just to become a lazy trophy wife. I want someone who's a partner. Someone I can count on. You can count on me to be hot. Right. I have a surprise for you. Remember Boo Boo? My mother's dog? They're leaving for a year on vacation oh. and we are going to take care of him. Isn't that great? <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad you two get along. Do you want to take him for an afternoon walk? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. Great. I'm going to grab his leash. Get on it again, and you'll get a slap. Just like that. Or maybe like this. I am the alpha female. This is not going to work. We are not friends. I can't find this leash. I think I left it in the car. Let's go? Yeah, let's, let's go. Come, Boo Boo. Oh, and when we get back, I can help you spruce up the resume. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, that'd be great, too. Can't wait. So there is no way to move it to next week? Uh, okay. No, no, I'll, I'll figure something out. Yeah, thanks. What's wrong, babe? I forgot I made an appointment for Boo Boo to get his shots. And uh, I have a big meeting at work. I can't make it. Can't just move the appointment to another day? They don't have any available appointments for weeks, and he really needs to get his shots. What if you let me take him? Really? Yeah. You I do mean, that? You're my fiance. It means we're partners, right? That's right. Honey, you are the best fiance in the entire world. Let your spirit rise. Hi, listeners. Today is the hottest day of the year. Oh, boy. <laughs> Casey, what's up? Hey, what are you up to right now? Wanna come over to my house and watch the Kardashians with me? Oh, I wish. I have to take Ted's stupid dog to the vet. Ew, why are you doing that? <sighs> he keeps talking about how I never do anything around the house and he wants me to get a job. Isn't he like a millionaire? Yeah, but he wants a partner, not a trophy wife. That's literally why you married him. I know, and he's being like so annoying about it. But maybe if I can show him I'm responsible, he'll drop the whole job thing. Or maybe he'll make you have a job forever. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. Because once we're married, I don't care if he leaves me. Because here in America, women still get half of everything. So, I'd still be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how it's legal that a man can work his whole life. And after one day of being married to a woman, she can take half of everything. That's what I call living in a free country. I know, it's amazing. Come on, can you ditch the whole dog thing and come watch just one episode with me? I don't know. What if you skip the appointment? 
but tell him you went. And then take him another day. It's not like he'll know. Casey, you are a genius. I know. I see you in a few. Okay, bye. Infested beast. Listen up. I'm gonna go watch the Kardashians and you're gonna stay here. And don't even think about going to the bathroom in here or I'm gonna run you over and tell Ted it was an accident. Got it? Okay. You got it? Okay. Great. Idiot. I'm gonna leave all the windows up so no one steals my car. So don't you dare go dying on me. What? Where on earth is your owner, little guy? This is unacceptable. It's over a hundred degrees out today. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out, okay? What? Don't worry, little guy. What? All the doors are locked. What? Oh, oh my God. Little guy, he's not moving anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I gotta call 911. Hold on, little guy. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, officer. I was walking by this vehicle and I saw a dog that is locked inside of this hot car. It's a hundred degrees outside today. If someone doesn't get him out soon, he's gonna die. Ma'am, remain calm. Just tell me the address and I will send an officer. Um. It's 243 Barry Lane. Okay, an officer will be there in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That, that, no, if someone doesn't get him out now, he's gonna die. Oh, Hold on, little guy, I'm gonna get you out. Hold on, little guy. Oh, it. No dog is gonna die on my watch. Hold on, little guy. Oh, God. What are you doing? Saving this dog's life. What did you do to my car? Oh, so he's your dog. It's my fiance's dog, but you smashed my window, you crazy old lady. Crazy? You're the one that's crazy, lady. Did you understand how hot it is outside today? You can't just leave an animal locked inside of a hot car. He could have died. Too bad he didn't. What was that? It's not even that hot. And plus, it's none of your business how I treat my dog, so just Give him back. No, no! And besides, it is my business. Just because he's your dog doesn't mean that you get to treat him any which way that you want to. We do have a responsibility to be kind and compassionate to our animals. Good a life, you old hag. I can treat him however I want to treat him. So just give him back. He's my piece of property. No, no, get it. No, officers, thank it. goodness. No, oh, good. Looks like you're going to jail. The cops had finally showed up and Amanda told them everything that had happened about how Lauren had left her dog in the hot car with the windows up and how Boo Boo had almost died. The police immediately checked on Boo Boo to make sure he was okay and gave him proper care. After confirming that Lauren had in fact left Boo Boo in the car, they gave her a $10,000 fine for animal cruelty. They also called her husband Ted to come get Boo Boo because they could not trust her. Amanda said that she would offer to wait for Ted so the officers would go handle other important cases, and the officers agreed. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Just stealing some random dog? You? Is some you? dog thief? Lauren? Hey, oh my god, thank god you're here. What, what's going on? I, I was in the middle of my meeting when I got a call from a police officer saying you were going to get arrested. Yeah, ask her. She's the idiot who called the police. My name's Amanda. 
And yes, I call the cops. What's the problem? Oh, the problem? She's incompetent, that's the problem. She should be arrested. She smashed my window and then called the police on me. I was outside taking a walk whenever I saw your wife's car with your dog inside unattended. And when I walked over, the dog was clearly in distress, so I... I broke your window and I got him out. Thank you so much. I, I don't care about the window. Why did you leave him in the car? You were supposed to get him to the vet. I was on my way to the vet and then Casey called and, and she really, really needed my help. And so I just stopped to help her and it was only a couple minutes, I, I promise. Actually, the police said based on his condition that she had to be gone for over two hours. Over two, you left Boo Boo for two hours in the car? What's wrong with you? I can explain. No, no, I don't, I don't want to hear any more lies from you. I asked you to do one thing for me and you couldn't be bothered. You are just so useless. Your stupid dog is useless. I thought you liked him. Of course I don't like him. I hate dogs. I was lying to you so you'd marry me and give me your money. Uh, well, now the truth comes out. Well, it's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't have to be around him anymore. Are you getting rid of him? <laughs> no, I'm getting rid of you. What does that mean? It means I'm leaving you. I can't marry someone who's cruel to animals. Ted, Ted, please come on, just, just think about this, right? Just, just uh, talk to me. And uh, don't forget that you have to pay a $10,000 fine. You know I can't afford that. I, I mean, guess you should have gotten a job after all. Huh? Come on, boo-boo, let's go home. Ted, come on, please, can we just, can we talk about this? Can we, what if we uh, work something out, right? I'm, you, you, you're gonna miss me so much. I'm so much fun, right? You just, don't, don't go, please. Come on, Ted, come on, come on, please. Ted, you're just gonna leave me here? Ted, no, I need the money. Just give me your money. Owning a pet is a huge responsibility that you should only take on if you're able to care for them properly. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so you can keep seeing videos just like this one. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time.